Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're all well wherever you are. Before we get started, I would just like to say a big thank you for all the love and support for my previous videos. Today, I will be making filler pastry samosas for you. To make the pastry, you will need half a bag of plain flour, one teaspoon of salt, Okay, so I've put some warm water inside a glass and I've put seven tablespoons of oil inside it and I'm going to put this inside the flour and I'm going to knead the dough now. And then you can put water in as you go along if you need more water. Okay, so I've kneaded this for 10 minutes. You need to make sure you knead it for about 10 minutes. To this, I'm just going to add a bit of oil on the top and just go over it with the oil because you don't want it to get all crumbly from the top. And I'm just going to put this to one side for about an hour. Okay, so I'm just going to cover it and put it to one side and just make the filling now. Okay, so in a pan, I've got four tablespoons of oil in. And to this, I'm going to add one large onion, which I've cut. I'm going to give this a mix. And I'm going to saute the onion until it's nice and soft. Okay, so the onions are nice and soft now. To this, I'm going to add a teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste. I'm going to give this a mix. I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt. Salt you can put according to your own taste. And one tablespoon of red chilies. Likewise, you can put it according to your own taste. I'm going to add one teaspoon of haldi. Okay, one tablespoon of powdered coriander. One and a half tablespoon of powdered cumin. To this, I'm going to add four tablespoons of water. Because I don't want the spices to burn. So I'm just going to give this a good mix now. Okay, so it should look something like this. So now I'm just going to cook this for about a minute. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add 1 kg of mixed vegetables. I'm using frozen vegetables, by the way, which I haven't boiled. I'm going to cook it in this mixture. So I'm just going to give this a mix. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook now for five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes now. To this, I'm going to add 1 kg of boiled potatoes, which I've cut into small cubes. Okay, so I've just mixed this together. As you can see, the potatoes have got a beautiful color to it. It's all the spices that we've put in. So now I'm just going to let this cook for about five minutes now. Okay, so it's been five minutes now and I've just added some coriander too and I've just given it a mix. So now I'm just going to let this cool down before we start filling in. Okay, so I've just taken the dough out of the bowl now. So now I'm just going to make a long roll. And then I'm just going to cut it in the middle. Okay, so this one just going to roll it out so basically we're going to make even round balls with them okay just going to cut this out and I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one I'm just going to get this to make a round ball just like that so you 
need to make sure all the balls are the same size i'm just going to do the rest of them okay so i've made 12 balls out of them so now i'm just going to pick one up the rest i'm going to cover okay so i'm just going to get some flour here and i'm going to roll this out a little bit not too much just a little bit okay so we're going to roll them out to this size so i'm going to roll of roll three out the same size they need to be the same size okay so now i'm going to okay so to this i'm going to get one teaspoon of oil and i'm just going to put this on the top here you need to make sure you spread it properly on the top this will help the rest of the chapatis not to stick together so okay so to this i'm just going to sprinkle some flour on the top of it just like that and now i'm going to put the other one on the top and we're going to repeat the process again okay so I'll just put the third one on top as you can see there's three there and they're all equal sizes so now this is the fun part so now i'm just going to roll all three of them out together so with the rolling pin just need to roll it just roll it into a round shape Okay, so once it's rolled out, it lo should look something like this. It's nice and round. So you can see all three of them are together. So now, I'm going to cut this into four parts. So I'm going to cut this way. And now I'm just going to cut it from here as well. Okay, that's done now. So I'm just going to do the rest of them the same way as I've done this. So I'm just going to cover this and do the rest. Okay, so these are all done now. So now and I'm just going to put the filler pastry on here. And we're going to cook this for about 30 seconds on each side. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this over now. Okay, so I've just turned this over. So I'm just going to cook this for another 30, for 30 seconds on the other side. Take it off and do exactly the same with the rest of them. Okay, so now, once I've done them on the pan, so now we're just going to peel them off. you can see it's peeling off nicely so now I'm just going to peel the other one off see it's coming off this is why we put oil on top of them so they peel off nicely okay so you can see they're very thin so you need to be very careful with them and you need to peel them off while they're warm. So I'm just going to do the rest of them now. Okay, so the, the pair of filler pastries are now done. So I'm just going to put three together. I'm just going to cut the edges. This just gives it a nice round shape.
Okay. So now. Okay, so now I'm just going to get one. I'm going to put this one on here, this side down here. And I've got flour here, which I've got flour and water mixed together. Just made it into a thin paste. Just going to get my brush. I'm just going to brush the flour on top of here. I'm going to get the other side and I'm going to put it on the top like this but we need to make sure as you can see there's a hole here we need to make sure this hole is closed otherwise the oil will go inside it so we need to close this hole from there now going to put the mixture inside here okay so now we're just going to push this side in And we're going to put some glue on the top here. Just going to fold it. Same again. So we're going to make sure these sides are closed properly so the oil doesn't go in. There you go. Your filler pastry samosa is now ready. Okay, so we're just going to do another one. She's going to do it exactly the same way as we've done the other one. Put some flour paste on the top here. This side on the top, like so. Close the top from there. Okay. So get it, open it up. Put some filling inside. Okay, so this part we're going to push inside here. So we're just closing it from the inside. Just going to put some paste on the top here. And we're going to fold it over and close it. Okay, so we're just going to make sure these edges are nicely closed. Okay, there you go, your filler pastry. Samosas are ready now. So now I'm just going to make the rest. Okay, so the filler pastry samosas are now ready. Obviously, I'm not going to make all of them. I'm going to freeze them. They're ideal for Ramadan. So I'm going to freeze some of them and then I'm going to make a few. So in a pan, I've heated some oil up. Okay, so now we're just going to put the samosas in. And we're going to fry them until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn these all around. As you can see, they're getting a beautiful golden brown color to them. Okay, so these are now done, so I'm just going to take them out. Okay guys, so the filler pastry samosas are now ready. You can serve them with any dip you like. I mean, I'll just break one and I'll show you how it is on the inside. Okay. I'm just going to break this one. As you can see, it's nice and crispy from the inside. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.